Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we learn about how to use split, apply, combine in Julia with the Sparky data frames, right? So the concept of the split, apply, combine, as the name goes, that is going to split our data set into groups, right? Or by groups, then to apply a certain function to it and then combine the results for us. So that's the concept about it. So in Julia, we have four different functions for that. That is three different functions. The group by, which is used to split our data set. Then the bar which is used to split and then apply the function and then the aggregate which is used to split and apply several functions okay so let's see let's see how to do that first of all this is the data set you'll be using so you can just go to datahub.io then go to data set and you search for any of the ones that you want there are several data set that we can use i think you'll be using there are several of them all right so you can just choose any of them the one that we are we'll be using is from here, right? So this is what we are using, right? So you can just download it because it comes into format JSON and then CSV. So you copy the CSV format, which is this one, right? You copy that one. That's what you're using. So constituent financials. So now, after loading our data set, let's load our data set and store it inside the variable. So df table right then we are going to store it as this constituent right dash financial csv you can name it also that's be easy for you so this is our data set that's loaded for us there are several columns so now let's see some of the things we can do with this how to be able to group all our data right so if i check for the head of this i want just only three so that's it to be easy now if i want to one thing is very useful that you have to know this the columns that you're working with so that you have to know which columns you want to go by right so you just use show columns and then df it's going to show me all the 15 columns that it has which is this one so now we are going to try and group our data by sector right you see there is sector here so now we're going to split it to the data set. So to do that, we use this function group by. The group by is only used to split data set. It doesn't apply functions only for this package. It's only when you want to split the data set by groups, not group by and apply a function. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So the sentence is the group by the function, then the data frame that you are working with, and then the column you want to split by, right? Or you want to group or categorize. So let's see that one. So it's going to be group. Sorry for the spelling. Group by right. Then our data frame and the column that you want to use. So you can just use the symbol right, which is sector, or you can just use the name. So it's going to split the our data set based on the sectors for us. Okay, so so you see that that's already split our data set, which was now into eleven groups, and then this is the symbol that is split it into. Which is quite nice. So the, you, can, you can also split groups, right? You can also group the data frame based on several columns, not only just one column. So let's try that one and see. You can just do something like this group by and then DF a data frame, and the columns that you want to use. So we'll be using a sector and then maybe which one should we use? Let's use prices, right? Price. So use a price to do that. So let's see. Sorry. Okay. We're going to group our data set based on these two param two columns, right? The sector and then the price. So based on sector and price, which is having five hundred and five hundred and five groups, right? Which is one of the so you can do it in this format. Don't split all of them perfectly. Now I see that I split them accordingly. Okay, so let's see some other things you can also do. Again, apart from that, you can be able to split the group, right? Split the data set and then apply a specific function to that. So to do that, we just use this the by or the aggregate. First of all, let's try the by. The by goes with the synthesis of the data frame, the column, and then the function. So let's try that one. 
we have pi and then the data frame that we have df the columns we want to work on so sector and whatever function you want to do so we can just check the normal simple ones like size we want to list all of them we want to split on the sector and apply this function size on each and every of them so nice so it has categorized it's based on the sectors which have several of the sectors and then their sizes you can do several complex functions this one's as just simple normal function and one thing you have to notice that when you are using this you should make sure that the function you're applying is applying is being applied on a specific type right for example if it's applied on a like strengths or let's say yeah let's do this term sector right and then i use mean if i do this it's going to give me an error the reason is that mean can't be applied to strengths so let's try and see so that has given you a method error right because of how it is but if i apply something different like let's it's going to work so another way you can do this one so to apply the mean to this you can just use the lambda function so let's try that one one in most function so it's going to be this format of pi right then df and then the column that you want to go on to sector and you're going to apply the function that you want to do so it's going to be df then this which is just like anonymous function the lambda in other languages you want to apply me df then whatever you want to do so let's say you want to use price you want to apply this on all of them apply the mean function on all the price for general of the sectors so that has worked perfectly so that is one of the ways of doing it so in case you have several functions and you want to apply each and every of the functions to our data that is when you can use the by do function so it's going to be like this so by and then do do right do function so you can just use the by so first of all let's go to take the normal one so the by in the data frame and then we use the place that you want it to be so sector right then you are storing it inside let's say x then we apply a function inside the data frame the data frame then we want it to be mean going to be mean right then we'll be using this x because that's where we are storing it so x then we're going to apply it to our prices so when we when we do it like this come back with end and then see that's going to work perfectly nice it's working perfectly so we can add another function to it so whatever function you want to add, you can just add that one to it, like something like STD, the standard division, so STD, and then you can make it like this. I want to apply it not to the prices, but something different. So I want to apply that one to, what can we apply it to? Price sales. Right, let's apply it to the price sales. So. So price is X so that has worked perfectly. So now it is applying two different functions on two different areas. That's one of the ways of doing it. So so you can just use the buy, then do format, right? Okay, so let's check the last one. That is in case you have several functions and you want to apply it. Apart from using this normal by do, you can also use the aggregate functions together. So, and I've used that several functions on a particular data frame that you are working on. So, we can use aggregate. Yes, as the name could aggregate means combine, right? So, we have our data frame, it takes three arguments our data frame, the column that you want to work on, and then the function. So, the function will be using this size. So if I use size, it's going to apply it perfectly on it. And then notice that the moment it applies it, it just put the function attached to the column that you are working on. 
right so it becomes easier for you to know what you actually work in so this is the function size and i'm working on symbol size of name size of price size of dividend right so you can also apply another function again to it so let's say you can apply length and then it's going to apply length on name so you see that there is symbol size symbol length name size name length so that is one way of doing it so let's try one last thing so that you understand this or well, let's have a different data set like the iris then they're going to be re tables right you are using the iris data set iris.csv so this is our data set now i want you i want to use aggregate so that you'll be able to see all of them because all of these things are floating numbers okay so in that case it's going to be aggregate aggregate and then it goes with iris right that's the first data frame then we're going to be using species and then the next one we are going to apply our function so the functions we are going to apply are going to be sum and then let's say me so when i apply this see that that's work perfectly we have the separate length and then that's fine for all the species the three species separate length is going to be this a separate length me it's a, a separate with sum so that's how it's going to be can even add several function like std var and deviation and the variance to it so if you have your own custom function you can just put it inside okay so that's how to use aggregate so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit stay blessed